Praise the Lord and let's begin our worship service with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Dear everlasting Father, we give you glory and honor and praise. We pray for the working of the Holy Spirit in this worship service. Lord, may it be a worship service that gives you all the glory and all the honor. And so in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's worship the Lord with this song. Take the name of Jesus with you. Take the name of Jesus with you. Time of sorrow and of woe. It will joy and comfort give you. Take it then wherever you go. Precious name, our sweet. Up above the joy of heaven. Precious name. Our sweet, up of all the joy of heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Need to take the name of Jesus Christ with us wherever we go. Hallelujah. Amen. The message today says, let us spread the news of Jesus. Let us spread the news of Jesus. And the scripture reading comes from the book of Mark. Chapter 5, verse 25 to verse 34. I read as you follow in your Bible. Now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years. And had suffered many things from many physicians. She had spent all that she had and was no better, but rather grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garments. But she said, if only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately, the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of her afflictions. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that power had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and said, Who touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, You see the multitude thronging you, and you say, Who touched me? And he looked around to see her who had done things, who had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. May the Lord bless his word. Hallelujah. You're talking about spreading the news of Jesus Christ. Last week, we saw a message of meeting, meet, a message that said, a meeting that saves. Hallelujah. And that was the book of Mark. Chapter 5 from verse 1. We saw immediately Jesus left, uh, stepped out of the boat. He met a demon possessed person. Demon possessed person was living in the tombs and in the mountains, cutting himself with stone. He was possessed by a, an army of demons, a legion of demons. And Jesus set this person free. Jesus set this person free from the afflictions of demons. And what was the reaction of the people in that land? They pleaded with Jesus to leave that region. And Jesus got into a boat and crossed over to the other side, the side of Galilee. Hallelujah. So we saw the, the one Soul is more precious than the whole world. Jesus crossed over to the other side just to meet that one person, to set free that one person, and then he crossed over 
to the other side. Hallelujah. And we pray that may our meetings be the kind that saves. Sometimes God will allow you to have one particular meeting. Let that meeting be the kind that saves. Hallelujah. Now we are continuing in the book of Mark. And we are talking about spreading the news of Jesus. Immediately Jesus crossed over to the side of Galilee. He was met by a large crowd. A large crowd gathered around him. Hallelujah. And among this crowd was man, a synagogue ruler by the name Jairus. And Jairus pleaded with Jesus to go and heal his daughter who was sick and almost dying. And as Jesus with his disciples agreed to the request of Jairus, they were on the way to Jairus' house. And is on the way that the instance that we are talking about in this scripture happened. A woman with an issue of blood touched his clothes. This woman's situation was desperate, was terrible. She had suffered for 12 years and she had spent a lot of money to try to treat her sickness. But it was not getting better. This is an example of a state of a person who is separate from God. They do not know the source of true joy, true happiness, and true deliverance. And because they are separate from God, they try all sorts of things. They try religion, they try good works, they try philosophy, but the more they try, the worse their situation becomes. And there is no any way to solve, there is no any way where they can solve their problem. The only way is Christ, is believing and accepting Christ. Hallelujah. So, when somebody believes and accepts Christ in his or her heart, that is the beginning of their healing. That is the beginning of their deliverance. That is the, the major solution to their fundamental problem. Hallelujah. So, point number one, the starting point of healing. What was the starting point of the healing? This woman who had an issue of flow of blood. It's hearing the news about Jesus Christ. You've read that she heard about Jesus and the many miracles that Jesus did. This woman heard that Jesus is raising the dead. Jesus is driving out demons. Jesus is working great miracles. And after hearing this, she had faith that the same thing can happen to my life. Hallelujah. She had the faith that this Jesus was working miracles. If I can only touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 17, faith comes through hearing and hearing the word of God. Hallelujah. She had the word of God. She had the news about Jesus Christ. And she believed. Hallelujah. The moment she believed, she took a step of faith. And she was kind of an outcast. She was not supposed to be around people. And in the Old Testament, there are two kinds of diseases. When you suffered from, you needed to be isolated from the community. One of the diseases is leprosy. And the second kind of diseases, disease is the issue of blood that this woman was suffering from. She was not supposed to come near people. 
But all the same, she had the news of Jesus. And then she said in herself, if only I can touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. Let us spread the news of Jesus Christ so that people can hear and be saved. People can hear, they can believe, and as a result, be saved and be set free from their suffering. Hallelujah. Point number two. The news of Jesus that must be spread. Verse 27 to verse 29. I want to read once more. This is what it says. When she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said, if only I may touch his clothes, I shall be bathed well. Immediately, the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of her afflictions. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to spread the news of Jesus Christ. There are people who spread bad rumors. And this, the rumors they spread it becomes poison in the lives of the listeners, people who hear. And we need to be careful and realize that if we spread bad news, we are just running a herons of Satan. But the best news to be spread is the news of Jesus Christ. Even if something that you want to spread sounds true, if it's not saving lives of the people who are here, better keep your mouth shut. Do not spread it. Hallelujah. Let us spread the news of Jesus Christ. This woman heard about Jesus Christ. And said in her heart, if only I can touch the hem of his garment, then I will be healed. Hallelujah. Amen. There's somebody else who had news of the Lord God. She did not have a good history. She was a prostitute in Jericho. Her name is Rahab. When we read Jer the book of Joshua chapter 2, verse 5 to verse 10. When Rahab met the spies who had been sent by Moses, Rahab narrated to these spies what she had heard and what all the people in Jericho had heard. They had heard how the Lord delivered the Israelites from Egypt, how he dried the Red Sea before them, how he struck down all the kings who tried to stand as obstacles on the way to try to hinder the Israelites. And she narrated that when the people in Canaan, when the people in Jericho heard of this news, their heart melted in fear. And they were kind of helpless. All their courage was lost. But for Rahab, wanted to identify in the, with this God. He wanted to believe in this God who does great things. She wanted to experience his works upon our life. Hallelujah. Amen. There are people who can hear news of Jesus Christ and just get shocked. And they don't take a step of faith to believe in the living God. But Rahab was different. She believed in the Lord. And she ended up being saved together with her household. In the whole city of Jericho, only Rahab was saved with her family members. Hallelujah. And not only that, she received the blessing of being in the family line of Jesus. The genealogy of Jesus. When you read Matthew chapter 1. Hallelujah. Why? Because she became the grandmother of David. Hallelujah. Amen. That was a great blessing. How did it happen? Faith that came from hearing good news of the living God. For that reason, you are being made to spread the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
because unless we, sp we spread them, how can they hear? And if they don't hear, how can they ever believe? And if they don't believe, how can they confess and be saved? Hallelujah. I bless every member of Mamba Salvation Church and every worshiper who is viewing this message on YouTube. May we all spread the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ in whatever meeting that the Lord allows us. In whatever platform the Lord grants us. Hallelujah. And even through the YouTube platform and through WhatsApp platform, through Facebook, we'll continue to spread the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. And just the way Rahab heard the good news and believed in the living God. Just the way this woman heard the good news about Jesus, the miracles that Jesus was performing. And she believed that if only she can touch the hem of his garment. I pray that everyone who will hear the good news that we are spreading right now. Everyone who will hear the good news that you will spread wherever you go. Will be touched. Will experience the work of the Holy Spirit. And works of salvation. Work of deliverance. Will be evident in every field. In conclusion. I want to say this, we do not know who will believe, but we must cut out the mission of spreading the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord instructed us in Mark chapter 16 verse 15, go and preach the good news to all creation. Hallelujah. And we need earnestness when we hear the good news of Jesus Christ, the earnestness, the yearning, the passion that we have will make the difference. Hallelujah. It will show the difference on who is going to experience answers, evidences, change, and who will just remain the way they are. I pray that you have a consuming passion to believe in the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ and take that winning move even to touch him by faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Your faith will draw power from him just the way this woman who had suffered for over 12 years experienced. God bless you and let us pray. The everlasting Father, we worship you. In the Old Testament, we, we, we have seen Rahab who had the good news of the Lord God. She believed and she was saved together with her household. And in Mark chapter 5, you have seen this woman who had faith because she had the news about Jesus Christ. And she was set free from the afflictions that she went through. Lord God, I know there is somebody watching this message who is listening kindly. And Lord Jesus, you are stirring a faith in her and in him. Lord God, I want to pray works of salvation, work of deliverance will take place because people are touching you by their faith. Thank you, everlasting Father, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you.